Aaron Rodgers and the Jets looking to snap a long playoff drought just like the Houston Texans did a year ago. Last year, Houston made the playoffs as a plus 650 long shot. They were the biggest long shots to make it since 2020. On the other side, the Bengals had the shortest playoff odds among any teams to miss the postseason last year. Bengals plus 275 to fail to qualify for the postseason last year. Joe Burrow did miss seven games with that wrist injury. This year, the biggest favorite to make the playoffs, the Chiefs, minus 550. They have made it nine straight years, which is the longest active streak Ooh. in the entire NFL. All right, Joe, Aaron, let's have a little fun in the NFL, shall we? I want you to provide some of your favorite make or miss playoff wagers at the moment. And Aaron, I'll start with you. Your favorite or one of them in the AFC to make the playoffs. So I'm going to go with the Dolphins. I think okay. they will end up making the postseason. They've been able to do so in the past two seasons under Mike McDaniel. Obviously with Tua, man's going to get paid. He's going to have Jalen Waddle, Tyree Kill, Raheem Mostert. Now you factor in OBJ. The defense also got bolstered this offseason with some good bets. So I think that we know that they're really good in the regular season. So the win should be there, albeit obviously they didn't play well against actually good teams last season. But the strength of schedule, middle of the pack, being the AFC is not easy, let alone the AFC East. But we saw last year in the AFC North, three of those teams ended up making the postseason. So there's no reason to think it can't be done. I think the Dolphins will end up making it. Okay, Joseph, your turn now in the AFC. I think Jacksonville has got a good buy low price on them, plus 130. A lot of people liked them last year. They were a very trendy pick after what happened in the playoffs the year before. They start the season eight and three. They flame out. Now everyone's off the train, right? They're a dark horse to win the division. Houston's got a brutal schedule. I don't think enough people are paying attention to that. This is a much easier schedule. And with Anthony Richardson having a lot of potential, but also being relatively unproven, there's an opportunity to get in through the division. Now, if not, you can definitely get in through the wild card as well. They upgraded at cornerback. They upgraded on the offensive line. They lose Calvin Ridley, but they bring in Gabe Davis. I trust Doug Peterson to get this thing right. Again, started 8-3 and three last year. I think they're going to win enough games to get themselves in the playoffs. And a lot of people wanting to see Trevor Lawrence lead his team back to the post season because the ship has kind of not taken off the way many thought when he was a generational QB prospect. You know, I everyone's a generational QB prospect at this, this point. Day and age. <laughs> um, I'm going to take it back. Let's stop being pessimistic here. We'll forget about missing the playoffs. We can do that another day. Let's stay with making the playoffs here in the AFC. Aaron, do you have another team you like to qualify? I'm looking at the Chargers. Now, of hey. course, when we're talking about this, it comes down to the regular season schedule, and they have the second oh. easiest strength of schedule this upcoming season. So I'm going to factor that into it. Also, we know they have a new head coach, Jim Harbaugh, so that should be an improvement. And also some positive regression considering, well, they had five wins last season. They went 0 oh, seven in games decided by three points or fewer and three and eight in games decided by seven points or fewer. So some positive regression, obviously the head coaching change and then the strength of schedule makes me believe that they might be able to sneak on in there. So at the price of plus 120, I would take it. Yeah, and if they do, I think Harbaugh's second to Matt Eberflus in coach of the year market. If they qualify for the postseason, perhaps that is what earns Harbaugh that award. All right, Joe, finish us off. Your second team? The Jets. You're going to have to lay a price. I thought it would be closer to minus 200. It's odd because when you talk about liking the Jets, most people will immediately counter by telling you they're not going to win the Super Bowl. I don't care about that <laughs> at all. This is a bet to make the playoffs, which is something you can do when you have a resume that features A, a top five defense, B, a top five schedule in terms of ease, C, above average quarterback play, D, an improved offensive line, weapons in Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall. Everything about him sounds like a playoff team. Sure, there are some issues between the head coach and quarterback, and there's that typical Jets going to Jet concept nonsense. But again, we're not talking about winning the Super Bowl. We're talking about finding a way into the postseason. Mm -hmm. They've got a win total of nine and a half. I like them to get there. You got two AFC East teams in there. Either that means the Bills miss the playoffs or three teams from that division get in. I like the plus money on the Jags and Chargers there to even things out. But that AFC East could be very interesting. I think at ESPN FBI, the only division with three teams that have better than a 50% chance to make the playoffs, Bills included with those two teams. Well done, you two. Let's